All right, my friends, welcome back to the Journey Vlogs. As a lot of you know, I've been doing some work on the side for my mom's friend, Miss Sandy, um, and doing just some stuff like pressure washing and stuff like that. But um, the newest project that she gave me was actually a challenge that I had no problem accepting because I love these kind of challenges. It's more like a puzzle than it is actual hard work. So um, we took, well, she decided on and bought this fake boxwood stuff here. And as you can see, it comes in a 12 by 12 mat. And it's actually just pieces that are stuck onto a, a mat. Um, typically, I can show you some examples of how it's usually used and some ideas, creative ideas. Um, if you guys do want to get any of these, I do have an affiliate link in the description that you can click if you'd like to get some of this. Um, they're good for privacy walls and all of that kind of stuff. I have not found anybody that has tried to do what she asked me to do with it. But um, I think it actually came out pretty well for not having any instructions or anything and just kind of having to basically make the puzzle pieces as I go. But um, there's actually five different characters. The first one I got done was Mickey. So I'm going to share that one with you now. Yeah.
So that was a really fun project. It took me almost three days to get um, the boxwood done. Just using uh, different size zip ties pretty much to attach it to the wire cage that was left. Um, but now it's time to take him inside and surprise Miss Sandy for her birthday. Let's see how it goes. Well, that was awesome. She couldn't have asked for a better birthday present, and she really, really enjoyed those. For those of you who don't know, her son died October 17th last year. That makes her birthday pretty hard from now on, considering her birthday is a week after his. These topiaries, um, her son Jimmy and one of his girlfriends actually bought, and they were going to make like a Disney garden. And obviously, when he died, that went away. So she inherited those. And it was a, kind of a special honor for me to be able to restore those for her so that she can continue to enjoy them. And I know when she looks at them, she'll remember her son, Jimmy. So that was a really special birthday present to give her. And um, a really fun project for me. So it worked out for everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now, one thing I did want to say, too, is going to the ghost hunting channel. You'll notice that rattling noise shows up in her house, and it doesn't show up. I'm, I'm probably pretty sure it's not showing up in this video. Interesting fun fact about Miss Sandy's house is um, documented knowing six people have died in that house. Her parents are included in that, the three people that lived there before her and a person or before them, and then a person that lived there before them. From what I understand, it was all from natural causes or old age and whatnot. But six people have died in that house. And also she has Jimmy's ashes in the house too. So it was really interesting to me that that rattling noise showed up in there because of knowing the haunted history of that place. And I know that my house seems a little bit haunted, but I've never had that rattling noise show up while I'm in my house. So... We're still trying to figure out why that happens and only happens at certain places, but um, that's for the other channel. So thank you so much for that and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, my friends, much love.